uh, from Comscore. And um, Comscore is a company that provides uh, analytics um, by measuring the digital world by both tagging websites but also having panel-based research. Um, we have uh, a lot of experience uh, handling big data. So um, if you look at the, the various products we have here, starting with video census, web census, campaign essentials, um, and digital analytics, right up to validated campaign essentials, at the moment we, we are monitoring 717 uh, billion page views per month. Now, I'm sure like many, many people have uh, trouble getting their head around that. I did a little bit of uh, math before I came out. Um, a billion seconds would be 30-some years ago, and I can just about remember that. And if I can remember correctly, 717 billion seconds takes us to uh, the 5th of September, 24,320, I believe. So I need something like that to triangulate it against, because we talk about these huge numbers, but I think we actually need something to, uh, to, to make them a bit real. So within that, we're looking at uh, what are the different things that, uh, that you need to know, and some of the things that we, we've been tracking. Now, I think for the European market, this is a, a very key slide here. Um, it shows the, uh, the visits on the left, and on the right, it shows the number of the share of minutes um, spent. So what you can see is that the European market is incredibly engaged on, on social media. So nearly 30% of, um, of, of total worldwide um, visitors are in Europe, and within that, nearly 40% of the, the worldwide share of minutes. Online video is now a huge channel. 245 billion videos have been watched online in September alone. And I can tell you, my day job spends most of the time talking to uh, publishers and um, uh, media owners, a lot of whom are in uh, uh, the television space, who are all looking at how, they, how quickly they can get more and more content online. We can see that uh, the engagement is increasing. And as we start to look later in the presentation about some of the ways that it's, uh, it's increasing, um, we can see that it's a shift from very short-term content to, to long-form content, uh, largely driven by the uh, smartphones, but also by um, the growth in tablets. So I, I heard some of the earlier presentations talking about um, understanding the consumer and, and what's driving a lot of these, these, these trends. And this gives you some representation of how quickly people are moving from PC-based access to the internet to using mobile and smartphones. So in the UK, we're looking at about 16%. Um, and while we drop down to 10% uh, to in uh, Ireland and Russia, you can see that that's growing very quickly, and it's going to become an increasingly important channel for how people access this content. This, uh, this data says roughly the same sort of thing, except that it just shows it in a different format at the speed at which it's growing, and that we're seeing, um, in a very short space of time, uh, a doubling of that trend. The top 10 smartphone categories by growth. So what you can see here, and I think probably one of the most uh, interesting one is the, is the top one, 153%, of what people are actually using smartphones for to access the internet, and it's social networking check-in. And I think as we start to look at some of the other stats, um, we'll start to understand how, how important that, that is. Ad visibility is hitting the headlines around the world. So the, as, as someone that's relatively new to this, so my background is more from um, the enterprise software arena, companies like Oracle and, and Sybase. So for me to get involved in the digital media side of the business, to start to understand um, some of the questions that, I, that I, I had before I joined Comscore, well, surely you can track everything, it's all online, it must be easy, surely. Um, obviously, it's not quite as simple as that, but what I've seen in even the brief time I've been at Comscore is people demanding um, the, the, to understand exactly what ads are being shown, where they're being shown, why they're being shown, and who they're being shown to. Um, and we're seeing that increasingly uh, with, with brands such as this, um, people like Kellogg's and P&G working very closely with Comscore um, to ensure that uh, every campaign that they deliver is seen, it's delivered brand safe, and it's delivered in the, on the right sites. 
Um, getting things in view, that's exactly what I was just talking about there in terms of um, what percentage of adverts are actually presented in view and actually presented to the people that you want them to. So in the US on average it's about 70%, uh, in the EU it's about 63%, but going back to my early experience at Comscore of understanding, um, just assuming that that was, that was all tracked and, uh, uh, and understood, when you then start to look at it the other way around and say, well, that means that 37% actually aren't used, and yet they're spent, and the brands are spending money on, on getting those adverts out there. So understanding that is absolutely critical. Um, position versus du duration, the, the uh, rather tried and tested phrase of gold beneath the fold, but it's something that we're finding increasingly. And as we work with some of our other products that uh, may be less well-known, digital analytics, which is our, um, our web measurement tool, we're actually able to understand exactly where people are looking at on a web page, what they're, what they're looking at and how long they're looking at it for. And what it's actually exposed is that below the fold is often the place that people spend the most time and are the most engaged. So uh, for, for an advertiser that's, and also for a publisher, that's obviously a key piece of, piece of, piece of data. You can see the correlation here between CPM and uh, the ability to hit a primary de demographic target, and that's one of the key things that's, that's core to Comscore, our ability to take this raw data, this census data across the web, uh, use our panel uh, uh, and its demographics to overlay that, to, to fully understand what we're seeing here. Um, th these last few slides, I, um, th there's a, a big question in the market, as, as the more people I've been speaking to, who are saying, well, this looks really simple. Um, uh, why can't I just track it all? Why can't I just go out and, uh, and, and um, buy this? And then more, I, I, in the last week, I've spoken to four different companies, all of whom are saying, well, actually, we think we can do this in-house. We're going to use something like uh, Hadoop. We're going to use something like um, Teradata. It's actually really pretty easy. But what they're finding is that when you start to take that blend of structured and unstructured data that's coming in off the web and coming in off their existing systems, it's increasingly complex for them. Um, and these projects are, I, I was with somebody only last week who said that they were a little bit shocked because the eight-figure bid that they just had from the vendor was a little bit more than they were anticipating. So from Comscore's side, we, we've already got all this data in the cloud. We've already got it, got it available as um, information as a service. So what we're moving towards is being able to get that data from around the web and get that data from around people's companies and actually just move it directly into getting information out. Um, we're doing that through leveraging a single fast tag. So the Comscore Media Metrics tag, combining that with um, uh, digital analytics tag to allow us to, to understand not only people's beha behavior, but when we start to dig into things like um, into uh, video, exactly how engaged they were and exactly what they did with that video. Where did they watch it? When did they watch it? What, um, uh, what device did they watch it on? Did they stop? Did they start? Did they stop? Did they start watching it on one device and then actually move off to another? Um, and uh, I was with somebody last week who said uh, um, that uh, the CEO thought this feature was rather cool and they were unimpressed by it. I have to say, maybe the CEO and myself are the same de demographic because I thought it was rather cool, but they were talking about the ability to walk home with your, with your um, uh, watching a TV show on your device and then just flick it and it would end up on the screen and then be able to understand exactly what was watched and when it was watched and when it was passed between the two. So with that, uh, with a, uh, a commitment to try and keep this brief and just share some, share some brief insights with you, from uh, Comscore's perspective, we believe the key to success is taking the customer data on the right-hand side, web data, mobile data, video data, CRM data, might be sitting in a billing system, might be sitting in Salesforce, might be sitting in Siebel, and merging that together with the data on the left-hand side, which is what Comscore is able to deliver, which is the analytics of the digital world, understanding what adverts they're seeing, understanding what um, information they're seeing, and then overlaying that with demographic data so we can make that and, and turn that into meaningful data. So with that, I'll hand over to the next presenter, and thank you. Thank you for your time.